I'm going to read from your filing where you talk about leading this charge. Yeah. You say in there, quote, if an incumbent can strip the predecessor of privilege, exactly what you just mentioned, then you say, just imagine what will happen to Biden and his advisors if Republicans win in 24. Quote, if I'm not dead or in prison, I will lead the charge. What are you threatening and are you suggesting you, that you, you would be you in a Republican your, White yeah. House? And what will you are do? You bet your ass that I will lead the charge. I will take Adam Schiff and Jamie Raskin and Nancy Pelosi and Luria and all of those clowns and kangaroos. I'll take Biden and every single senior staff member in there. And do and what? I will and put do what? them with subpoenas. And we'll, we'll start with the impeachment of Biden for what? Ukraine, the southern border, all manner of things he is guilty of, and we'll, we'll subpoena his senior staff. I don't think that's good for the republic, okay, Ari? I don't think, I think executive privilege, George Washington understood this, Jefferson, Adams, they all understood it. I don't think that the destruction of executive privilege and testimonial immunity to stop Trump from running for office in 2024 is a good Democrat bet. And okay. you shouldn't either. But you oh, admit, you okay, stand but up you, admit, MSNBC you admit, you admit, you admit that if you end up back in power, Peter, I just want to get this on the record. You admit that if you get back in power, you will be trying to use the DOJ to issue politicized if, subpoenas based you, on Democrats I'm you don't you, like. It's not using the DOJ. It's it's basically I will I will push as hard as I can to use the same BS that the Democrats are using now to try to put me in prison for standing up for principle. If they want to play that game, we'll play it right back. They hit us. Okay. We hit them back Here's hard. A, on that's this topic. Latest. That's not what I want, Ari. Let me be clear. I do not want that. Okay. Well, you, want, you wrote it in a court filing and you just said it on air, sir. So it sounds court. like what you want. Let want me play a little bit of what you said about Dr. Fauci in the same vein. I'm going to play this for your response. Take a listen to what you threatened Dr. Fauci. What's that? Where's your future, Tony? Republicans are going to sweep and take the House back from Nancy Pelosi. And as soon as that happens, you're going to sit your ass down in a chair in Congress and you're going to confess to creating the virus that's killed almost a million Americans now. We're going to fit you for an orange jumpsuit, Tony. You can count on that. So this is your agenda, yeah. is trying to imprison to your I'll opponents. Stand by that, but that's a separate issue from this issue here, all right? I, I'm sorry that you would go is it? and you're pledging those abuse. two. I'm not conflating anything, Peter. You're yeah, pledging you can, abuse of power. It's got nothing to do with what we're doing here, Ari. The the issue, the only common denominator here, and I, I just abhor this right now, it's the weaponization of the investigatory powers of Congress for partisan ends. And yeah, Ari, both parties are guilty of it. Shame on them. We got to put a stop to this. I mean, this is just, I mean, we are in, look, as an economist, I'll tell you, I've never seen the world and this U.S. economy this bad. We have real problems. The American people doesn't give a crap okay, about sir. what that kangaroo committee okay. is doing. But Peter, they do but not Peter, care. You're saying we have to, quote, put a stop to the thing you're pledging to do if you return to power? Uh, it, no, I said that if they pull this off, if they institutionalize in case law the ability of Joe Biden or, or an incumbent president to strip a predecessor of executive privilege, that's wrong. But if they do that, and if they allow, the other thing we haven't talked about, Ari, is the committee itself and how it is neither duly authorized or properly constituted. We did talk about it has that. No I mentioned, ranking minority well, member, sir, Ari. No I did ranking mention that, minority member. It sir, can't I did mention subpoenas. that, actually. It can't I mentioned, issue subpoenas. They are a, unlawful. Peter, they're unenforceable. Peter, I've Full given you a good stop. amount of time, but we got to go back and forth. I mentioned that, yeah. that point in your case, and I mentioned yes. that, a, that the Supreme Court acknowledge the legal validity of the committee that, that, in, that, yes, that, a document again, case, but they acknowledge oranges. it.